morning. Uh, let's have a short review of the Leg V8 pipeline data path. So you know already that the idea of pipeline is to allow uh, multiple instructions to be able to execute somehow simultaneously by dividing the execution of the instruction into specific uh, stages called uh, pipeline stages. And uh, in the leg 8 implementation, we have five stages, one, two, three, four, five. The first one is called instruction fetch. The second one is instruction decode. The third stage is uh, execute. The fourth is mem. And the uh, fifth is the write back uh, stage. Now, in the execution of an instruction, uh, we have, last time in the instruction fetch, we have a register called program counter. Now, the program counter is uh, a register that contains the address in the instruction memory where the next instruction to be executed is located. So, for example, if you have some value here and in the instruction memory you have the address some some memory address and then the, the, the instruction there is add x2 x1 x3 okay. uh, the, the, the instruction will be uh, passed to this output line and once that is done that's the completion of the instruction fetch and uh, at this stage also you have the program counter being implemented for the next instruction. Then in the instruction decode stage uh, the primary input will be the instruction which will be decoded to determine the operation, the actual uh, operation to be performed with the processor and uh, in the case of the example I will go add uh, x2, x1, x3 the add instruction has three operands and uh, those three operands are registers and in the instruction decode stage you have the register file here which contains uh, all the registers for the leg V8 and uh, in the register file you need to specify uh, let's say the operand, the first operand, the second operand and then uh, it's also possible for you to uh, write data to the register in addition to the operands. So you have here specifying the which register to write to and the actual data to write to, to the register. And uh, in the register file you have the output of the read data, data one, in case you're reading uh, data from the register file and then read register 2. So the values here are actually uh, the contents of the specific register that uh, is specified in the, uh, in the input. So you have read register uh, number here, read register 1, then the contents of this register is uh, output here. And for uh, red register 2, okay, the output is So this is the instruction decode. Now in case of a branch instruction, so normally the branch instruction will have some offset to jump to in case the condition is true. So that offset or displacement will be sign extended here by this logical unit. And uh, the result of that is uh, outputted also. So that is the instruction decode stage. Then uh, the next stage is the execute stage. So at this point, this is where the actual uh, operation uh, will be performed in case you're doing some arithmetic operation or logic operation. And the main component here is the ALU, or the arithmetic and logic unit. And it has two inputs, uh, the, first operand, uh, the first input here and the second input here. As you can see here, the 
input to the ALU is the first input is the output from the register read uh, register one here the first uh, input and the second input to the ALU will be may come from the second register or it can come from a from the branch uh, from the offset or the displacement of the branch instructions it will be here and uh, so not shown in this diagram is the control lines okay, so those controls are not shown here because uh, again the ALU will be used by a jump instruction for computing, computing the offset the jump and then the, we also have uh, the value here for the which also added to the jump instruction which under the space and uh, this is the execute stage and after that you have the memory stage now the memory stage is usually used by the load and store instruction because you have the data mem memory here so the input to the memory stage will be the specific uh, memory specific address in the data memory and if you have uh, and the actual data to be placed in that specific address and at the output stage, you have the, the data that was placed in the specific address. Then on the right back stage, okay, so this is where the, we have a multiplexer here, which decides whether to, which data to forward to the right register. So the data can come from the result of the ALU in case you have the uh, ALU operations, add, subtract, etc. Or the data can come from the memory in case you're uh, doing a load. Okay, so in, in, in the load instruction, you have to specify a register where to load the data from the memory. And you have the base register and the offset. So this is uh, this multiplexer will decide whether. Uh, to write back the data uh, for coming from the result of the ALU operation or the data coming from, let's say, the uh, load operation. Okay. This is the right block stage. And then uh, it says here that the right to left flow leads to hazards. So this is a right to left flow. So this is there's a possibility of hazards here. Why? Because of, uh, well, you have to go back in time. And if you have a pipeline uh, data path, you just can't uh, do that. Okay. Now, another one here is this mem, okay, mem hazard. It's a right back hazard, it's a mem hazard. So, what will happen here is that uh, the address in case of a branch instruction, the address to jump to is actually will actually happen in the original design in the mem stage. So this one here goes back because the address the computation of the address to jump to will happen here in this ALU, and uh, this uh, part here will resolve to a hazard okay? because this is, this multiplexer here will determine whether the program counter value will come from the next instruction after the current instruction being executed or it can come from a, a new it, it, can, it can go to a different address based on the computation so this diagram basically illustrates the, pipe, uh, the general uh, pipeline for the leg V8 processor that we are designing in this class. And uh, in order to buffer, in order to buffer the uh, result 
of the previous stages in the pipeline, we need to add what you call uh, pipeline registers that acts as storage area, temporary storage area of the result of the previous stage because in the pipeline design, one instruction may be in this stage of this execution, the next instruction can be in this stage. So these are the uh, specific uh, registers, pipeline registers, and their naming, okay, their naming is based on the boundary that they are separating. So for example, this register here is instruction fetch slash instruction decode. It's the boundary between the instruction fetch and the instruction decode stage. This pipeline register here is uh, instruction decode slash instruction ex execute because it's, about, it's the boundary between instruction decode and execute. And the same goes for the remaining two pipeline registers. So basically that's how uh, the design of uh, the leg uh, V8 pipeline, pipeline design looks like.